use for this vase is these mosaic uh, tiles. We're going to do our acrylic pour using um, Craft Smart from um, Michaels. So I got these colors because I'm making one of my rooms out of these colors. So this is what we're going to use. You're going to also need um, like a little small cup or glass or whatever uh, so you can mix the colors of the acrylic in. I got this uh, vase from the Goodwill and all I did was turn it upside down. So we're going to go ahead and start this project little by little until I reach the amount um, that I wanted to, you know, cover the base with. let this vase dry it's gonna fall all over the vase we're gonna let it dry i know it stopped here at the end y'all i barely made that one through but um it's okay because um the good thing about acrylic is it's easier to uh you know take off so anyway what we're gonna do is let this dry y'all and it's gonna be so pretty because i've already made one <laughs> so um we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna go ahead and move into the next diy just stay tuned. Okay, Glam Fam, so the second project, we're gonna uh, do a canvas with a shower curtain. So this is the canvas, and we're gonna use this shower curtain. Um, I just cut it in a square note. Uh, I didn't measure it properly or anything. And it is wrinkled, and um, what I do, uh, I stretch it as much as I can, and then I use the steamer to um, knock out the, um, the, um, wrinkles because it's kind of like a I don't know plastic material so I don't want to put any heat on it like that so um all I'm doing and y'all I'm amateur at this uh I just learned how to do this I mean I'm just trying to do it actually so uh y'all are basically like the first ones to see me do this and me 
be like, I'm, this is new for me. So anyway, I'm just gonna use some high glue to, um, to seal the back, uh, I mean, seal the uh, shower curtain to the back of the canvas. And then I'm going to do this side too.
Okay, y'all, so I got to work with this uh, at the bottom a little bit. So I'm going to use my steamer to kind of like flatten it out and everything. And then I'm going to show you all how it looks, okay? Okay, everybody, so this is going to be our third DIY, a quick one. Uh, I'm using these bowls that I purchased from Dollar Tree, and um, they're from a previous project, so they already have the mosaic tile on those, and I'm, I'm going to use it. I have two of these from a previous project as well. I got these um, candles that I purchased from Ross. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the um the bowl turn it upside down we're just going to glue another bowl on top of it that's it nothing too fancy and i think i'm gonna put the yellow one in there to go in the middle it is cute. I always do those like these, but I don't know. I see. But right now, I'm just gonna, cause that is a whole lot more work. So, cause you gotta let it dry and all that. I ain't got time. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this other one on like that. Then we're gonna do this last one. Now, how quick is that? That's a quick DIY. So now we got three quick counter holders, and these uh, DIYs are going into a room that I am going to. Um, show you all soon i've just been having so many um you know like roadblocks <laughs> but um it's coming very soon because i'm just um almost done um i tried some things in there and then i was like i don't want that you know or whatever so that's the hold up and walmart <laughs> but either way y'all just stay tuned for all these three uh, all of these DIYs together so you can see how it looks together. So this is how everything turned out. Um, I did not steam the um, curtains, the shower curtains that's on the canvas. I didn't steam them yet, but I'm going to um, like right before I hang it up and do the reveal for the room. But the candles, uh, the candle and candle holders, it did turn out really good I like it it's simple but a little bit glam and at first I didn't put the uh, because I put some mosaic tile on there y'all I had to glam it up a little bit you know <laughs> I was looking at it like oh my god it's so dull but you know I'm extra so but this vase y'all this vase right here I think it turned out gorgeous like I really like this vase i think what i'm going to end up doing is probably um putting some uh, gloss on it <clears throat> to you know uh, make it look a little bit more glossy then i may not i don't know uh but i really do love it um it just turned out really really pretty and most well the canvas and the vase this was my first time really doing this um so uh, I did it before, but like I did another face, so <laughs> it it turned out pretty good too. But this is really my first time, like actually actually doing this. So I hope you all just get got some inspiration from it. You do not have to do what I did. You can iron because somebody will be like, "Why didn't you iron it?" Because I didn't want to. But um. <laughs> I'm going to steam it uh, once I put everything up. But y'all, this is just to give you ideas on what you can do. So I hope y'all like the idea. If you do, what do you do? You like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs.